Yu-Gi-Oh! Zyvers, episode 13. In the previous episode, we watched as... Oh, Rocket Boy beat the shit out of Gokis. <laughs> and that the main antagonist, I assume, would be playing Rockets. While we are playing Code Talkers. And we're not getting a case of Deja Vu. <laughs> but hey, we got a lot of new faces that got their uh, cards revealed. Remember when they were all just nobodies like this? And them? <laughs> That's why I still do the, th the ease, just so I can see what's changed. Ultimate Magician. Wow, Xander, this new deck is simply amazing! But with this deck, who knows who might win against you? Xander, are you okay? Yeah, it's just... I'm trying to see if there's a way to beat Hikaru with this Borlo Dragon. Xander, are you thinking about dueling him one day? I know it, Laura. Then I can't wait for that day to come. If that day does come, Xander, here, me and Aiden will be there to cheer you on. Thanks, Lynn. Where are you, Aiden? Who could that be? I think I know. Oh, for fuck. Would you go away? Chris. Hey, you. I think I know where Aiden is. Do you know where Aiden is? I don't know where he is. You're lying. You know, you both know where he is and I want to know. We have not seen Chris and Chris. Because he made a fool out of me and, and if you both don't tell me where he is, I'll send you the stars. Hey Chris, we're gonna send us the stars. Could you make it a shooting star? A shooting star? So I can sing shooting star by bad Egg Raiders. Never heard of them. Are you making fun of me? Maybe. Do you want to be sent to the Shadow Realm? You, that's not real, right? It's a metaphor made by Devor kids. Why, you little. Excuse me, what's going on here? It looks like the protagonist. Who are you? My name is Utah Jones, and I could say that I'm a fan of the Yu-Gi-Oh! show. And I'm not gonna let some 12-year-old boy who says that he's friends with the Yu-Gi-Oh! character ruin my day. What did you just call me? <laughs> if you think you are all talk, then let's duel. Right here and now, with no holograms. You're on, Utah. Do without holograms. What's the point? Turn seven. Utah life points forty one hundred. Chris life points twenty five hundred. This is a bunch. It's over, Utah. I have uh, elemental hero Neos and flaming men attack with three set cards. While well, you have two cards in your hand and one face down. And once I win, you shall go down to the stars. <sighs> Are you sure? Say what? I draw, then I play the trap Magician's Navigation. Summoning the Dark Magician from my hand, and one from my deck. And if I control two, uh, if I control Dark Magician, I can play my two spell cards that are in my hand. Dark Magic Attack and Thousand Knives. I think I know what these cards do. I'll get rid of your Neos along with your spells and tracks that are on the field. Since you're the news, might as well end this with some style. I overlay my two monsters to exceed summon my Ebon Illusion Magician. I'll use this effect to summon my last Dark Magician from my deck. 
Dark Magician attacks Flame Wingman, and Ebon Illusion Magician will attack you for game. Lucky draw. No, my hide would have been unlucky draw. Lucky? Not so luck. I just made my deck better than Yuki's deck. Time is 10, I'm copying, not copying his. What? I dare you talk trash about the King of Games. But it's true. Besides, if I copy his deck, I might lose a game in more 10. Besides, making it original and fictional and improving it makes it more exciting, don't you think? I think it's stupid and none of that. Why didn't you use the Dark Side Dimensions, Dark Magician? Why do you ask? I ha have a choice of using the Dark Magician artwork. No, I do No, you don't. And next time we duel, I expect you to be using the Dark Side Dimensions. Dimensions, Dark Magician. Who does he think he is? Yeah, he gets like that. His face is perfect. Oh, sometimes he's actually funny. That's sometimes he's actually funny. If you say so. Hey, are you Xander? Yeah, my name is Xander. Hey man, I heard about you and your awesome cyber stick. Thank you. Are you up for a quick game? Sure, I'm always up for a game. It's gonna be a proper duel, most likely. Turn 12. What? Don't disappoint me, Xander. I want you to go all out. Don't worry, Yuda. When I duel, I go all out. Good luck, Xander. It's time to do, 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 no announcer. Alright. Alright, I'll make the first move. From my hand, I put a spell card known as Card Destruction. Now we both discard our hands and draw the same amount of cards from our decks. I don't even get to discard for a draw for him. And he's five. Accurate. It's a little detail to notice. Thanks for that, Yuta, because one of the cards I discarded was my a dot scaper. And when it's sent from the sent to the graveyard, I guess we'll summon it to the field. Good moves, But now I'll play another spell card. Dark Magic Veil! By paying 1,000 of my life, I can purchase summon my, a level 7 dark spellcaster from my hand. I think you know what I'm summoning. The Dark Magician! Unfortunately, he won't be here for long, because I'm going to tribute him. To summon the Dark Eradicator Warlock from my hand. I love this thing. You're coming out from a set that didn't have Dark Magician in it, so you couldn't summon the fucker. Also, as long as Dark Blue Rider here Warlock's in the field, every time a normal spell is played, you take a thousand damage. And then, like now, when I play Silent Doom. I think you know we're going something back again. Next, I'll set one card face down. Iron Hunter. My turn. I draw. I use my Dot Scaper to Link Summon. 
Come on, Link 1, Link Spider. He's not a normal monster. Gonna use his effect to summon Digitron from my hand. Then I'll play C or Carver's effect from my graveyard. When a monster is normal, special summon to a zone that a Link monster points to, I can special summon to the field, but then it leaves, and then the card is banished. It's banished if it leaves the field, I need to say. Now use all my monsters to Link summon. I Link summon. My decode talker. Next, I summon Lady Debug. When Lady Debug is summoned, I can add a level three or lower Cyber monster from my deck to my hand, and I add Catchy Eve level two from my hand to my hand. Then I use her effect by targeting my Lady Debug to reduce this level by two exactly. Just supposed to summon Cassie Eve level 2 from my hand. She lost 3 levels. Now, since I control 2 monsters of the same type, I can supposed to summon Cyber's White Hat from my hand. Then I use all my monsters to Link Summon! Hey, where's the eco? Oops. Not all. Semantics. I link summon Power Code Talker! And since I use Cyber Sweat Hats as link summon, I can make all my opponent's monsters that you currently control lose a thousand attack at the end of your turn. This move will lose me some life points, but I got no other choice. I have the spell card, Monster Reborn. Thank you, it's gonna take a thousand from Dark Eradicator Warlock. Come back, Cyber's White Hat next to Power Code Talker's Link. Then I'll have White Hat attack your Dark Eradicator Warlock. It's a good move, but unfortunately you forgot about my face down. I play the trap, Wall of Disruption. The Dual Link Staple. Well, not anymore, but you know. It's a trap that makes your monsters lose injured attack for each monster that you control since you're attacking. So your monsters are losing 2400 attack each. White Hat goes to zero, Power Code goes to zero, Deco goes to 400. So Warlock wins. Let me take 1500 damage. I set two cards face down. Your move. But first, a word from our sponsors. And we're back. It's my turn. I draw. I'm sorry, Xander, but it looks like you are going to lose. What do you mean? Because I'm going to summon my ultimate magician. Your ultimate magician? Quintet magician? No. I've been a spell, magicalized fusion. Oh, fuck, I was, I was kidding. You take a thousand damage. And I banish four spellcasters to my graveyard, along with my Dark Magician on the field, to Fusion Summon. Wait, so, oh, that's right, he sent me this graveyard with card destruction. It's showtime. Quintet Magician! I play Quintet Magician's effect. When this card is Fusion Summon using five spellcasters with different names, I can destroy all monsters in the field. Other monsters in the field. You gotta be kidding! all their cards in the field. I can word good. It was fun, Xander, and you are very skilled. But it's time to win this duel. 
Quintet Magician, attack for game! Oh shit, Xander lost. Xander lost? Hey man, good game. Uh. Hey, are you alright? Oh man, did I go too far? That was totally wicked! Or maybe not. That Quintet Magician monster that you summoned was amazing! You and me should have a rematch. Yeah, but are you okay? Yeah, and this only shows me that I gotta improve my deck. Well said. But you just rebuilt it. Meanwhile, I got a text. Anyway. <laughs> Aiden! This is the place to find him? Are you lost, kid? Or are you looking for me? Are you him? If you're looking for the guy that has the best deck, then I'm your guy. So what are you looking for? So are you buying or selling? Um, I'm actually here to trade my deck. Oh? And what do you have? I have a horse deck. Interesting. Tell you what. Defeat me, and maybe we can work something out. Alright, but then shall I call you? But what should I call you, by the way? A lot of people call me by a lot of names, but the one I like the most is Merchant. All right then, Merchant, let's duel. This is supposed to be like a tombstone thing from Spectacular Spider-Man. Okay, a lot of unexpected stuff in this one. Go. <laughs> Was expecting Xander to lose, but and again. It I made a comment about how he's like the how this is his brains probably kind of like the very next episode or the same episode I guess it would be. He loses. There's something that didn't happen with well happened with Yusaku, but off screen flashback duels don't really count. Well they barely count. Anyway, yeah. Was I expecting Xander to lose? That was a surprise. And now you know why I don't voice as a fake Dan Green. Cause I'm not good at it. Maybe they'll have a rematch one day, and he can show himself up. Maybe. Anyway, uh, it's funny to me that they have him be Utah, and then in sevens we have Yuga, which just sounds like we just took the protagonist from Arc, which either way is the protagonist from Arc 5, but we replaced the I with an A. Well, in Yuga's case, it's replaced the O with an A, but, uh. Anyway. It's just funny how that works. And Aiden switching up his decks. I wonder why. I guess the horrors aren't getting it done for him as much anymore, so he needs to find something better. I mean, levels aren't that great of a deck, so who knows? Maybe he'll play Gokis too. Or who knows? Marine Sis! Hmm. You never know. Well, you would know if you've watched the series before, but I wouldn't know. So, yeah. He's pretending to lose, but he's a protagonist at loss, so now he's gonna come back from that. That's a stronger character. Later.